So uh, I do want to begin by thanking you as a special guest for uh, being here today with us. And as always, uh, our board president, Ms. Jenny Howes, here to support our students. Ms. Howe? Thank you for being here. We have board member, Mr. Mazenko, also here to support us. And we have board member, Ms. Contessa. We also have from Central Administration, we have Ms. Cara DeMeo. And we have Mr. Jim Mercado, our assistant superintendent. So I want to thank you all for being here. I want to give uh, some, some special thank yous, obviously, to uh, Mrs. Bush for helping uh, put this ceremony together for us. Uh, Mrs. Bush. And of course, as you're all enjoying right now, Mrs. Clam, all of the food that she ordered to make sure in our little certificates to make sure that they're all done. So Mrs. Clam. So beginning with our SAT recipients, I want to again welcome our 2022 SAT Honor Roll Breakfast recipients. Uh, again, thanking our special guests. Um, I want to thank all of you for demonstrating greater excellence and your commitment to academic success. Uh, you're being uh, uh, acknowledged today for achieving extraordinary success on standardized tests required for College Brown students. Uh, we are recognizing each student who have achieved an SAT composite score of 1,200 or better and the math and English sections in one sitting. That's pretty impressive. This year, we're acknowledging 77 students who have met this criteria, which is quite an accomplishment. So we're going to honor this elite group by placing your names on our class of 2022 SAT honor roll plaque to be hung outside of guidance, which is over to my right. So every year, we, uh, we recognize our recipients by... Uh, putting that plaque up and it's there forever. So I think it's quite an accomplishment. So to all of our students, I want to congratulate you on your academic achievement. Your results are reflective of, of your cognitive abilities and your educational experiences. And I know the test measures uh, components of intelligence. It does not measure accomplishments. What you decide to do with your gift is your decision to make. However, as I always have, I encourage you to pursue your personal interest in college and career, to challenge yourself to be a lifelong learner, and to share your knowledge to improve society, to essentially be a value-added citizen. We recognize and we celebrate your success, which is something that you, your parents, your friends, and everyone here at High School East is proud of. And as you pursue and, your, and achieve your continued academic success, I ask that you strive to be so much more and to do so much more. Remember. You're always going to be a reflection of your school community, so we expect you to make us proud as you move on. I know there's a, you know, my daughter just graduated this past weekend at Fairfield, and I sat around and I kind of reflected a little bit about just her whole journey uh, through high school and college and, and the preparation and, you know, um, being the best version of yourself. I couldn't be more proud to be a Raider, uh, to be in this school uh, with outstanding students. Um, Teachers who go above and beyond, uh, staff who go above and beyond, and parents who support the school. So I just want to—I uh, want you to make sure that you acknowledge those who have gotten you to where you're at, as well. Make sure you give mom, dad, guardian a hug. Tell them thank you. Tell your teachers thank you. Let them know how much you appreciate what you've done. And again, just as I said, as I was reflecting on my daughter's graduation this weekend, I couldn't be more proud of the teachers who influenced her to help her to become the young lady that she is today. So. I will wish you all the very best, and I congratulate you for your academic excellence. Mrs. Anders? Thank you, Mr. Thomas, and congratulations to all of our award winners today. I'm going to start by calling out Mr. Matthew Bagdy. Come on up. <laughs> Taylor Bratley. Alexander Brooks. <laughs> Holly Butler. <laughs> Sabrina Chun. <laughs> Victoria Colazzo. <laughs> Adam Corbett. Daniel Castigliola. Amber Craig. Nicole Dockrat. 
Scarlet Thing. Marco Ferreira. Hannah Fuschetto. Kelly Goodall. Nicholas Goodwin. Brianna Griffin. Julia Herska. Angelica Houston. Allison Jackson. John Calcowitz. Alexandra Kisabek. Stephen Maley. Louis Marchand. Melissa Marvini. Christopher Mata. Kyle Matten, Amanda Meskowski, Aiden Michael, Jacob Miller, Charlie Muscovy, Muscovy. Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. I'm sorry about that. Ethan Nugent. Amanda Olson. Let's give one more round of applause. Good job, Miss Andrews. It's always stressful when you uh, make sure you pronounce the names correctly. So how about this game? So. Uh, again, so what I, what I was telling you before, what we'll do is I'm going to do the community service and at the very end uh, we're going to call each group separately up for, for pictures, okay? So we'll, we'll go through this one and we'll have the same process. Ms. Bush will call the names for the community service breakfast. And again, I want to welcome everyone to our 2022 community service ceremony and again, thanking our special guests for being here. Um, I want to begin by also thanking your parents, teachers for instilling the commitment to excellence and the values inherent in good citizenship. Each of you here today is being recognized by our school community for exhibiting the qualities characteristic of Raider pride, adding value to your community. That's what we're all about as Raiders. 
We are proud to recognize students who have volunteered their personal time and efforts through school-sponsored events or avenues provided by local organizations and groups to essentially provide a service to our community. And through this service, you have acted on personal goals and interests to make strides in improving the outcomes of our East community. This year, we're recognized 106 East students that have accumulated 30 or more hours of service, with a large group of students amassing more than 100 hours. We had 32 students who had more than 100 hours. Seniors who have accumulated 140 out more or more hours will receive a quarter at graduation, which you'll receive in the packet that you get today. So we have 24 seniors who are going to be receiving that recognition today, which I find pretty impressive. Uh, just a special recognition, I know Alexander Kisabeth has 536 and a half hours. <laughs> Oh, there she is, Heidi. Good job, Alex. That's imp pretty impressive. Allison Jackson has 466. Angelica Houston, which is a great name. So you guys don't know that movie actress, the Adam Family and everything? So congratulations, she has 420 hours. So I find all of those accomplishments extremely impressive as the efforts are time consuming and all been made with personal sacrifice. However, the efforts are reflective of the mindset of the individual, people who place the well-being of others before themselves. And through this process, students have demonstrated the ideals inherent in compassion, tolerance, and respect. I value students who demonstrate good citizenship, behavior, and am proud to send them into the world equipped with the skill sets for success and the mindset to improve society. I want to thank you for your vision and commitment the community growth. You're all leaders and are appreciated for making a difference in this world. And I thank you very much. And again, I think, you know, being a principal at this school, I, you know, we always talk about academics, academics, but it's not just about academics. It's about the personal growth. It's about improving your society, uh, adding value to your community. And uh, it's often done with people who have that empathetic view to give back to their community. And that's, I, they always say, like in education, maybe you can't change the world, but I, I know you can make your community a much better place. And those people who often uh, take those personal time to give back to the community are the types of individuals that do make strides to improve the community. If we had more and more people like that, I, I think we could probably change the world. But I think that you guys should be very proud of yourself. You should be very proud that you're pro positive reflections of the school and what we stand for as a, as a, as a, as a building. And um, I couldn't be more proud of you. And I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm very excited for your future. And I hope you continue to keep that mindset as you guys move on to college and careers. So at this time, I'll turn it over to Mrs. Bush. Thank you so much, Mr. Thomas. Good morning, everyone. It is the honor of the school year for me to be able to present the awards for the spirit of the reader. So good morning again. Uh, at this time, I'd love to present the award for grade nine. So at this time, if you could come up and receive your award. Okay. Christian Abus Lehman. Colby Capen. Jose Gonzalez. Gabriella Goulace. Connor Heiler. Dante Conter Rezi Gatto. Ryan Macon. Kelly O'Brien. Sophia Palin. Alexandra Petroslino. Carrie Rankin. And Ella Scarpelli. Congratulations, grade nine. And grade 10, Jack Chen. Jamie Crew. 
Grant Voss. Aliyah Nagaria. Dylan Romeo. Ashley Wojcik. Congratulations, grade 10. Grade 11, Ahmed Amer. Aiden Basile. Aaron Beaudry. Alexis Bobko. Barbara Betcher. Elizabeth Carpentiero. Gail Carpentiero. <laughs> Jessica Chan. Madison Chiapetta. Ellie Clayton. Abigail Cole. Catalina Corona, Erin Cortez, Emily Daniel, Emerson Dirk, Megan Donovan, Brian Fortunato. Eliana Frias, Anna Giletta, Samantha Impin, Kira Jacobis, Hope Ladini, Megan Lord, Haley Maste. <laughs> Stephanie Malshagan. I'm not sure. Josephine sure. McKenna. Oh, I'm Sophia Marino. Hector Milan.
Allison Betker, Jamie Cataldo, Adam Corbett, Emily Catone, Amber Craig, Andrew Dakrat, Nicole Dakrat, Charlotte Fagan, Hannah Fischetta, Kelly Goodall, Destiny Goodfriend, Christina Greiner, Gianna Pulace, Sarah Hurst, Angelica Houston, Allison Jackson, Alexandria Kistaber, Michael Piccaroni, Stephanie Pisco, Alessandra Prado, Rachel Romeo, Gabriella Rosario, Nicole Rosas, Julian Sarr, Antonina Scala, Sama Sanad, Emily Silvey, Isabella Wade, 